Hey guys, John Rettinger here with an unboxing for you of the Samsung Behold for T-Mobile. This is a full touchscreen phone, similar to the Samsung Eternity, uh, but this one's available for T-Mobile's network while the Eternity is for AT&T. This retails for $149 on a new two-year contract. So let's go ahead and dig in. This was sent to me fresh from the PR folk at T-Mobile. Open up the FedEx pack here. That should be enough. Let's rip the rest. There we go. A little bit of PR material on the phone itself. Let's see. A little bit about the Samsung Behold and some of the key features. Large touchscreen display, thin profile, available in brushed espresso or a light fin rose, full HTML browser, touchwoods interface, 5 megapixel camera and video recorder with 4 times digital zoom and autofocus. Pretty impressive. Built in GPS with GPS navigator, accelerometer, full QWERTY, support for MMS, I am an email, stereo Bluetooth, my fave, speaker, included gig of 1 gigabyte, micro SD card, quad band to GSM. And it's UMTS HSDPA, so it is a 3G phone, which is very cool, using T-Mobile's 3G network. Let's go ahead and see what color they sent. Looks like the black one. Looks like this box has been beat up a little bit, probably the fifth or sixth person that's reviewed this phone. So here it is, Samsung Behold, picture of the device on the front. I don't have my Eternity anymore to show you guys with, but it does look very similar. A little bit about it, experience the freedom of the web truly at your fingertips. Okay. Picture of the device on the side. On the back, some more specs. Calling, my tones with hi-fi ringers, my faves, phone book, 3G, all the stuff that I just read to you. Nothing else really on the box. Let's see what we got inside. Pulls off to the side. Documentation. Getting started guide. Services, all the stuff that really nobody probably reads, terms and conditions, a book that you can see everybody is really interested in, it's still sealed in the plastic. And the Samsung model number is the SGHT919 in case you are interested. I'll go ahead and pull up this plastic bit. Here is the phone itself. As usual, we'll push this off to push this off to the side. Let's see what else. We've got some headphones with a Samsung proprietary headset port, same one they use for charging. That's a little annoying, but not a big deal. Here's the charger with the aforementioned Samsung proprietary port. It's like a flattened USB. And a USB to that port connector. Let's go ahead and take a look at the phone itself. It's actually very thin, it's very small, it's got a nice, it is a resistive touchscreen. You can kind of see when you push it from the side that it indents a little bit. But it doesn't have the typical resistive squish to it, so it does feel nice. Uh, let's see what we got on the front of the device. Looks like we got, there's your speaker, send an end key, and a back button. On the side, we got volume up and down, and a like a micro USB port. Let me zoom in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. There we go. Little micro USB port right there. There's nothing on the top of the device. On the other side, you've got a hold. You've got a hold button, and probably a programmable soft key. I'm guessing that goes to a camera. And on the back, there you have your five megapixel camera, which is actually a very impressive to have with the. Uh, Portrait mirror and a flash. Property of T-Mobile demonstration unit, not for lease or sale. Good to know. All right, so let's do a size comparison. This is gonna draw a lot of comparisons with the iPhone, so as I usually compare, let me go ahead and show you guys. So there is the iPhone with the Samsung Behold. Behold is much smaller. Could stack them on top certainly see that there's a size difference there. 
we do the profile shot. Certainly it's a thinner device as well. Let's see if it's got a charge. And let's power it up for the first time. I'm guessing we hold down the end button should turn it on. There it goes. Samsung Behold. And like I do with most of my phone reviews, I'll use this for in a couple weeks and I'll let you guys know what I think. So there's T-Mobile. Tom's Guide. Interesting. And that appears to be it. Auto update of date and time. And it's got that really nice TouchWiz interface with the widgets. So you can actually drag these widgets out onto the home screen and kind of use them for whatever you like. Um, I'll go through the widgets each one during my review. But it looks like there are quite a few of them here. And it's got the four buttons across the bottom. So you've got your phone, phone book, and menu. And the menu looks very similar to the Eternity that I reviewed before. So we'll go back home. Anyway, guys, looks like I get full 3G reception here, so it'll be nice for testing the web browser. Hope you enjoyed. This is an unboxing of the Samsung Behold for T-Mobile. Stay tuned for the full review. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, last thing. If you want exclusive updates, be sure to follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash John4Lakers. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.